pull it down and forward once on each side the other side wasn't connected it appears like it uh, kind of came apart you need to vacuum this out a lot of dust in there okay we're live here we got power I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off at the breaker this one labeled washer and dryer and double check make sure yep good good Okay, I'm going to show you how to jumper wire a dryer door switch. If you suspect the dryer door switch is not working, the dryer won't turn on. You want to turn the power off. I've got the breakers turned off. You can either unplug the machine or turn the breakers off. Right here is the dryer door switch connection. I'm just going to disconnect that. I've got a little piece of wire here. And we're just going to put that jumper on this side, one on each side. That makes a good contact. Okay. And we'll push that in there. So it's touching both sides really good. And now we'll go and turn the breaker back on. There's our jumper wire in there. Once we start it, we'll just need the push button to start the dryer. <coughs> Here it goes, reset the power, and I'll hit the push button. Now we'll just push the button to restart the dryer. Anyway, that's how we can test and prove out whether it's the door switch that's malfunctioning. Mm -hmm. 